The biggest FNAF debate in 2022 is whether the books are canon to the games. And when I say canon, I mean whether they take place in the same timeline or not. This question is always on my mind, constantly feeding off of my pain and suffering as I type out long messages in Discord theory debates. Today, that ends. See, these books are the original three uh, novels of the of FNAF. And Scott Cawthon has directly said to us that these are not in the same continuity. The other books are a little bit different though. The Fazbear Frights books were given to us to fill in blanks to the past and the back cover literally says that the books come from different corners of the series' canon. So why is there such a big debate on whether the books are canon or not? Why can't we theorise how possible it is that they all take place in the same timeline rather than questioning whether they do. I believe it. I mean, some people have the theory that um, we, we have like stitch line games, which is the theory that the whole story of the stitch wraith and all of the stories that are associated with it are all kind of in the same continuity to the games. While like others believe split line, which I believe is where there's like a branch timeline off of FNAF 6 and then in one timeline uh, the games happen, and in the other timeline, the stitch rate happens. I don't know, I just really hope that this whole debate gets settled soon. Okay, so the first uh, Tales from the Pizza Plex book has been leaked, and I have read through uh, the first story, which is Frailty, and the second story, which is Lally's Game. And I'm not going to spoil it, but if you want to lore in these books, that is exactly what you're going to get. Aside from the possible lore connotations that all of this brings us, they're just genuinely great stories. I think that the quality has improved since Fazbear Frights, and they are two of my favourite FNAF stories that we've ever gotten, I think. Um, it could just be because they're new and exciting, but still, um, I cannot wait for this book to come out and for everyone to go wild. Okay. I have a lot to talk about. So the book has been leaked for like a week now, I think, or less than a week. It's been a lot less than a week. And I'm not going to say any spoilers here, of course. This is a completely spoiler-free kind of review of Lally's game. But I love it. There's so many lore aspects, as I said. There's so many different kind of things that have appeared that I really always wanted to appear in the FNAF books. And if I'm being completely honest, this is the best FNAF book that we have gotten in the entire series. That's not even a joke, like, these stories are so good. So, we first of all have Frailty, which is weirdly the first story in the book, but it comes out with a banger. It is literally an 8.5 for me. There is a lot of lore in this story, and there are some possible connections to the past. We, we won't talk about that, but, uh, just... Expect the unexpected in this story and that well actually for all of these expect the unexpected The second story is the main Lally's game story and although reviewers said that it was a bad story I actually think it is the best in this entire book It is filled to the brim with this mystery and this dread and It, it seems like it's gonna be this average Fazbear Fright story But there is a massive twist that really pushes it to a nine I am being completely honest here, I think it is a 9, I think it is better than Frailty by a little bit, but the ending is so great and I'm so excited for, for people to read this story. And then the final story is Under Construction, which this is going to be debatable, but I'm actually going to say it's an 8 out of 10, because it is just fabulous. <laughs> it's so, it's the, the weirdest story you could ever think of, like Fazgu. No, that's not the weirdest story you could think of. In the flesh, that's not weird at all compared to this story. This story is honestly the worst thing I have ever read, which which is what makes it so good. Um, and that's what makes it an 8. Uh, even though it's weird, I still think there are some aspects there that I like. Unfortunately, they use like a weird, like, in real life uh, emotional thing, which shouldn't be used in this context because it's kind of like a comedic story as well so i don't really know why they did that because it kind of ruins the story but hey uh it was good anyway 
Oh yeah, and there's also an epilogue which confirms a lot of things. So, here is the big question. Is Tales from the Pizzaplex canon to the games? I can 100% confirm right now that it is. It 100% is, not only does it have connections to the games, it also has connections to the Fazbear Frights. Ah! <laughs> oh, it is amazing. One of the Fazbear Frights stories is actually like fully, full on referenced in one of these stories. Uh, not only that, but it's possible that we may be seeing Eleanor again. I don't know how true that is, but it's possible um, you'll see that maybe there's like some past with Eleanor that kind of plays into these stories a little bit. That's just one of my theories that I have, but again, that's not confirmed, that's just a theory. You'll read it and understand what I mean. There's honestly just so much to talk about. The epilogue is literally everything that I have ever wanted out of these books. I didn't even rate the epilogue, I think the epilogue is a solid 9. It's the best start we could have had to Tales from the Peterplex, and I am so ready for everyone to just read this book and come on the internet and say, huh? We actually got this? So it's just incredible. Uh, I love this book so, so much. And it, it does confirm that Tales from the Beatsplex is not only connected to the games, but also to the Fazbear Friday. So surely that means they are all in the same timeline, right? Well, that's what I believe. I genuinely think they were on the same timeline and I don't know what else to say without spoiling it but it is exciting stuff. There's still some problems that need to be cleared up and this is the whole point of theorising and this is why I like the Fazbear Frights and Tales from the Pizzaplex because even though the games are great to theorise about, this gives us more to theorise about on the side, right? Filling in blanks from the past, how, do, how does all of this fit in? Um, you know, how does the games continue to the books, continue to the other games? Uh, and yeah, I, I like that sort of theorizing. So there is your answer. I hope that's the answer you wanted. You clicked on this video, so it probably is the answer you wanted. The full book comes out on the 19th of July, 2022. So be there or be square. Anyway, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in another one. Goodbye.